This is Alistair Wu for Edmunds with a Ford Focus. Now, it might be a bit long in the tooth for this rival to the Honda Civic and Chevy Cruze. It's still a smart choice whether you opt for the hatchback or the slightly more conservative sedan. Like all modern Fords, it's good to drive with a fine combination of ride and handling and the two engine options in the mainstream range, a 1.0-litre turbocharged 3 or a 2.0-litre 4. Now that 1.0-litre is a fine piece of engineering. It works really well in the smaller Fiesta, but here in the Focus, it struggles a little. This is a much bigger, heavier car, so our choice would be the 2.0-litre, which has a good blend of performance and economy, even if we couldn't quite match the official consumption figures. Inside, the Focus is starting to show its age a little bit, but there have been some detail improvements along the years. Gone is the My 4 Touch infotainment system. We were never a fan. To be replaced by this new Sync 3, which is a big improvement. Overall, the quality is adequate, but some of the detailing isn't so good. This leather, for example, looks more like plastic, not something that once belonged to a cow. The Focus's other big problem is its lack of interior room. Now, I'm a big guy, I'm almost six foot four, but the rear is very cramped, and that seriously compromises its appeal as a family car. The trunk is a decent size, although it should be noted if you opt for this Sony subwoofer, it eats up plenty of space. It can depend how much you like your base. Today, the Focus is truly outstanding in no real area, but as an all-rounder, it's still well worth a look. Mm -hmm.